Hello everyone, this is Linda, and uh, I'm over here by my banana uh, plant, and um, uh, I just want to do something a little different this season coming up. So listen guys, if this is your first time here, I wish you would please consider hitting the subscribe button. Yeah, I will be sharing with you all what and how I grow here in my Zone 9 garden. Yeah. But, um, so what I've done is I decided I'm going to do some things a little different because, yeah, you know, from season to season, I I just need something different a little bit. Um, doing the same things over and over again. Uh, yeah. I get bored looking at it. It's almost like changing the living room around, you know. <laughs> oh man, you gotta do something different for me. I do. So this is what I've decided to do. So I'm gonna line up with this the, with this banana plant here, and I'm gonna plant all three of my pups right down this row here. Now this is the north side of my house, and uh, this is where this banana plant has been living on the north side, so they, they're going to do well over here. And uh, <clears throat> I have been uh, feeling, uh, yeah, I got this, I got this cold, y'all, I got this thing, so I'm feeling a little better. I didn't have a great night last night, but you know, it'll get better. And then I'm going to bring you guys along with me when I dig up this trench. Uh, I am going to share some things I'm going to be doing on this side of my home. I think it's going to be exciting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys, so my plans is to uh, just pull up a nice big circle around this um, banana plant. And of course, you know I'm going to plant I'm gonna <laughs> plant some seeds there, but I wanted to show you guys him. Look at him. Um, now, that's another thing you'll find on your lawns. If you start digging in your lawns, you will find a lot of grubs because... This is what they eat. They eat the roots of the grass. They eat the roots of your vegetables. So anytime you see um, your lawn where it is patchy dry, or if you could lift it up a whole slot of it, you know, like a piece of carpet, yes, you have grubs. And so if you didn't know that when grubs grow up and they get their wings, they are Japanese beetles that terrorize our garden every year. So every time I get to digging in my yard, they go more worms. And I find grubs, which I know, you know, I'll never get them all. There's a million new things out here. Um, I'll put them in a container and I'll put them in my bird feeder. I'll let the birds enjoy a beautiful organic meal. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, but uh, I'm just going to uh, I'm gonna make a nice big circle around this banana uh, plant, and I'm going to do that to all three of them. All three of them is going to get a big circle around them where I'm going to plant some flowers around them. I'm going to plant maybe some uh, 
some smaller plant. Uh, I'm not going to plant anything that's going to hug them and run up on them. Not the smaller ones, but the big uh, banana plant. Yes, I'm going to plant some uh, climbers around it. Just for some more color. That's all. Yeah, so let's see what's in here. Oh, there's a lot of worms all over my property, and that's one thing I really love, 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 and my soil is just super black, super black. Mm -hmm. It's nourished uh, with all kinds of good stuff in it, yeah. But what I'm going to do to this spinach leaf, uh, mustard green leaves, moringa leaves, banana leaves, I have some... Um, 511 mm -hmm. it's been in that in a container for you know about three weeks now so I'm gonna give some of this to her and matter of fact I'm gonna give uh, all of them a good shot of this stuff yeah I'm gonna come back and put some bone meal and blood meal around them but I'm gonna finish digging up around here and making a nice big circle and I'm gonna put some bricks around it uh, just to protect it from my gardener <laughs> yeah and um, that's it we're gonna see what the three look like when they start growing now uh, in the spring I will have um, four beautiful banana cheese isn't that amazing yay <laughs> And look cute and ate one, and there's the other one. She got it. Look cute and ate the grubs. You ate it? <laughs> oh my goodness. She ate them both, y'all. This is some uh, spearmint that I have growing in my yard. So uh, I'm going to take some of this for tonight's tea yeah it really helped me last night but I still had a crummy little night <laughs> I coughed a lot seems like everything get worse at night when you try to sleep but that's okay the spirit may go do me well she can do me well look at this one uh, I'm thinking I think this is a uh, Mexican so I'm gonna take her off and uh, just put her on there and see if she would continuously grow. Oh, my glasses falling off my face. <laughs> now this is that log I had in my uh, I have, and I had tomatoes growing here, and they were growing beautifully. And then we had a night, uh, a couple nights of a slight frost, and yeah, it kind of took them out, so it's all good. And uh, so I'm just going to get that worm right there, you see? <laughs> I'm trying to keep still. <laughs> yeah, but you, <laughs> I guess that's the way of uh, staying alive. <laughs> I don't want to hurt them. I think one of the most frustrating things for me is when I'm digging in my soil and uh, I cut a worm in half. God, that bothers me <laughs> so much. <laughs> really do. And I have these babies growing over here. I took some of the seeds from this plant, which is uh, sprinkled them over here. So <sighs> we'll have more. Ooh. But I will keep you all up to date on my banana trees and uh, my banana plants, whatever one you want to call in this farm. But uh, I will definitely keep you updated on uh, what I'm doing. It will be probably another video where I am uh, planting them in the ground and uh, dropping the seeds around them. All right, guys. I hope you all have a beautiful evening. Yes. Later, y'all.